and call on our friend Tom Hutchinson, the senior editor of the High Income Factor newsletter at Money News. Tom, it's good to have you back on America's Forum. What's the real story on uh, unemployment? Well, if you, look at un if you look at the employment situation and compare it to other recoveries, it stinks. You have more long-term unemployed than ever before. The labor participation rate is as low as it's been since the 1970s, which you didn't have women in the workforce en masse. So. And the wage growth is not there. Um, and the jobs that have been added during this recovery have been lower paying than the ones lost. That said, this, this recovery's unemployment is getting better than it ever has in, before in the recovery. Um, the last three months have added more jobs for any three month period since 1997. And 2014 uh, was the best year for job growth since 1999. So although the employment situation in this recovery is subpar, uh, it's gaining steam in the best it's been in years. Yeah, so I guess everything's relative, even with the curious way they, uh, they gauge unemployment by leaving people off the rolls or suddenly they don't count in the factors they use. Uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting to watch how this is done. So things are better, but they're, they're still bad. Let me turn to the, uh, the secrets of the temple, the Federal Reserve. There's the chairwoman, Janet Yellen, up on the hill this week, not exactly yelling, but protesting any notion to audit the Fed on one hand. And then she also says, hmm, jobs, uh, not that great. So we're going to wait on doing anything with the interest rates. Do you expect that to, to last a good long while? Or what's your take on the future of interest rates in the Fed? Well, I think it's a huge problem. And, you know, let's take a couple steps back. The Fed has injected itself in the economy like never before in history. Since the recession, they've pumped more than $4 trillion into the banking system. And they've kept interest rates near zero for, for about six years now. Now, what's being debated right now is raising the rate from near zero levels priced for a depression scenario. Uh, and they, they're having trouble doing even that. And the thing to realize here is with, with the Fed, it's much easier to get involved in the economy than it is to pull out. At some point, to protect from inflation, they'll need to reverse policies and move interest rates higher. And I don't think they'll have the will to do it to the extent it needs to be done. Uh, so the bottom line is waiting longer, uh, printing more money, you've got a real, real risk of inflation at some stage just like throwing gasoline on a fire. That, that's the big concern, is it not? About 20 seconds, Tom. Yes. Not only has the Fed, but central banks around the world have, have lowered rates near zero and essentially disarm themselves against fighting inflation. So when inflation does take hold, it can only be countered by the willpower of the central banks to spoil the party uh, and slow down the economy by raising rates, and I don't think they'll be able to do it. And we will have to leave it there. Tom Hutchinson, we thank you for your time. To learn more about the high income factor, simply go to moneynews.com slash HIF. We will continue with America's Forum. Head right into Hour 2 as CPAC continues in Washington. Stay with us.